just some sort of familiarity between the two of them, isn't it? Not? <laughs> Doing communion. Thank you, Christopher. That was delightful. Communion is a Christian tradition. Whether you're Christian or not, you're welcome to participate. Um, unleavened bread, if you like the tradition of that. Uh, rice cakes, if you're wheat intolerant. Animal crackers, if you want to on our Native American pathway. Whatever works for you works for us. Would you join us in prayer, please? Loving Spirit of Light, help us to recognize the light within ourselves. And as we partake of this, help us to acknowledge and recognize the light in others, not noticing necessarily their actions, but recognizing that they too have a light and it's their own fears and their own sorrows and their own insecurities that dim that light. Help us to recognize that it is our own insecurities and fears that cause us to dim our own light. So as we partake of this, brighten us. Let us shine even brighter than before. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. We both have blue shoes. Whoever left these sh brand new shoes on the kitchen, thank you very much. They're all lovely things. <laughs> well, they're pretty. <laughs> follow that. Would you join us in prayer, please? Loving spirit of light, as we drink this in, help us to drink in life with all of its challenges, all of our silliness, and let us shine. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. We having a basket issue? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> a little bit. We are having a basket issue. It's funny when I start panning the audience, some people just kind of start looking away. Because <laughs> I just pick people at random, and I usually surprise them because usually when I'm looking at them, I'll actually call on Deb. He doesn't get to pick on you very often. Yeah. She lives in Goldendale. Yeah. Goldendale. This place is such a blessing. Um, I don't think there's anybody sitting here that hasn't been blessed in some way by this church, me included. And of course, Everything you give to this church is a blessing also. So give from your heart and from your spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Deb's the, um, one of the people that have been with us from uh, 
one. From one. pretty much day one, yep. And um, the it's first... It's her fault. It's it, her fault. Oh, that's right. It is. It is her fault. <laughs> and um, when she first... I don't remember the situation, but she had to say something in front of a small group at that time. And um, she couldn't. I mean, between crying and hyperventilating and stuttering, she just couldn't say anything. Now. That's not the same person. No. So. Yay! There it is. There it is. There's the. I'll never forget Lori saying, "Just breathe." Yes. Yeah. Just breathe. Me neither. Could you take your little friend somewhere? Thank you. Harry. <laughs> okay. Who's going to do the, somebody do the prayer for us? Who would like to read the prayer for us? Church prayer. Who would like to lead the, lead the church prayer? We can all read it, but. We don't do this very often, but it's a wonderful prayer. And as I've told the story many times before, we had a large group that day. However many words are in that prayer is how many people we had at church that day. And every single person came up with one word. It actually wrote it down on a piece of paper. And after and we collected everything. Unbelievable. Sorry. Say again. Say again. However many words are on there is about how many people we had that day. Everybody wrote down a word. And we took all those words and made a prayer. It, it, it was kind of unbelievable. Well, actually it is unbelievable. How could that possibly happen? And yet it did. I think the only duplicates we had was love and loving. And home. We had a couple of those. But, but we asked people to describe the Divine Fellowship, and these are the words that came up. So with that? We probably did that. Phil. We probably did that eight, nine years ago. Don't ask me to remember. <laughs> okay. Loving spirit of the light, we are grateful for this divine church home where we feel safe, connected, loved, and joyful. We ask that angels of the light shine grace on our journey and bring us bodacious laughter and the truth of our wonderful destiny. As beacons of light, may we shine our abundant blessings and unconditional love creating unity with all. We are about ages. Okay, let's do a guided meditation, shall we? Yes. Let's do. Um, where do we want to go? I thought I had something planned and then it just kind of went. So. Mountains? Okay, everybody's on their own. <laughs> well, let's all just take a deep breath in and release. Take another deep breath in and release. And allow your attention to go to your heart space. In your heart space, have the intent of going where is right for you today. And with that stated, bring your attention to the bottoms of your feet. There are energy portals at the bottoms of your feet. And by paying attention to them, they will open like the eye of a camera. And as they open, this is like a release valve. Any stress or discomfort can just drain out the bottoms of your feet. You can let it go. You need to hang on. 
Just release. And to assist in that process, bring your attention now to the top of your head. And there's an energy portal there that will open like the eye of a camera. This is your willingness. And as you are willing and open, this will connect you to divine source. And the living light of love will pour down into the top of your head. And where there is this loving light, those difficulties cannot exist. They're just pushed out. So some things are dense and heavy enough that they can just drain out the bottoms of your feet. And everything else, this loving light is going to pour into you and push the rest of it out. Allowing yourself to feel that loving connection. Let it touch your mind. There's worries or sorrows there. Let this light overwhelm that darkness. Where there is light, there can be no darkness. You turn on a light switch, the light's going to overpower the darkness every time. Every time. You allow this light of love to pour into your being, and it will overcome fear, sorrow, distractions, Letting more and more light flow into the top of your head. Let that light touch your eyes, your third eye, your discernment centers above your eyebrows. So that you can see and perceive not what you've necessarily been programmed to experience, but see in truth. The truth that you're loved. The truth that you are light. Letting more and more light flow into your body. Letting that light touch your ears, even your mouth and your throat, your jaw. This activates your ability to communicate so you can speak your truth. And at the same time, hear someone else's truth, even if it's not your truth. You don't have to make them different. You don't have to make them understand you. You can allow them to be where they are. Bringing more and more love and light into your torso. Letting it fill your shoulders. We carry a lot of tension in our shoulders. You might want to roll your shoulders to release that. Where there is tension, this loving light energy cannot flow. So let it go. Bringing more and more light into your body. Allowing more to come into you. Be receptive. It's a gift. You get to have it. And as you receive that, let that flow into your arms and into your hands. Letting more and more love and light flow into your torso. Let that light touch every organ, every system, every tissue, every fiber, every cell. Even between the cells, even down into the cells and down into your DNA. Letting that loving energy of light find its home there. Reactivating and energizing you from the cells outward. Letting more and more light flow into your body, down your legs, down into your feet, down into your toes. Letting every last little bit of unwanted energy just drain out the bottoms of your feet and let light shine through you into the earth. Feels good to be a conduit of light. Now close the bottoms of your feet and you are a vessel of light, more and more light flowing into your being and into your energy field that surrounds your body. This is your true nature. This is who you really are. You are love. You are light. And now allow yourself yourself to find your way to where it would be good for you to be today. Perhaps it's on a beach. Perhaps it's in the mountains. Perhaps it's in a valley. 
Perhaps it's in a forest. Wherever you feel is right for you, wherever your imagination takes you, is what's right for you today. And as you're walking along the trail, be mindful. And know that this is a sacred place for you. Allow your imagination to take you to a place where you can sit and just be. Perhaps you sit on a log or perhaps you sit on a a rock or you sit in a tree. Whatever is right for you is what's right for you. And know that you feel the sacredness of this experience. You're safe here. You're safe to be who you really are here. And in that space of safety, see an angel or a figure of light come to you. They are carrying to you a gift from divine source. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling or some symbolic object. Reach out. Receive that gift. You have a right to receive that. And notice the loving look on their face. Notice the caring, tender, nurturing expression in their eyes. And recognize that you are loved and cherished. So receive that gift with gratitude. And realize that you have a gift to give back to that being of light. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling or some symbolic object, even if you don't know what it means for you. It will have significance to you. So express that and give that gift of gratitude now. Know that this is a sacred place that you can come back to at any time. And this feeling of safety and this feeling of being beloved is your rightful state of being. And you may wish to take something with you from this place, whether it's a flower or a pebble. or something to help you remember how much you're loved and how precious you are. So take that with you. You have a right to. This is your sacred space. This is right for you. And with that, allow yourself to walk back down the trail. And you can invite your being of light to walk with you, or you may say your goodbyes, whichever works for you. Allow yourself to find your way back down the trail, back into this time and space, back into your physical form, back into this room. You may want to take a deep breath in. Exhale, stretch a little bit. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And welcome back. Thank you for that little journey. How many people went to the beach? That's the beach people. How many people went to the mountains? A couple went to the mountains. Where else did you go? Cosmos? Awesome. Where'd you go, Dan? A small stream. A small stream. Yeah. Yeah. 